I first realized the call on her life. She was attending school in Cleveland and she told me she had to speak uh, a little short dissertation and uh, when I went and when I heard her. See, we've learned how to operate in church. We've learned how to have church language. And so it appears that we're saved. But God said in this hour, there's going to be a distinct sound. I knew at that point that God was going to use her in a mighty way. Erica and I met at Ashland Theological Seminary. We were taking a class together. Um, Dr. McMickle was our teacher. It was a, a preaching class. And um, Erica and I had the opportunity to hear one another preach. And in hearing one another preach, we struck up a relationship. He would always um, talk about, you know, ask me different questions, how long I had been in the church. Um, how, you know, and she would always give me her testimony to a certain extent. And it kind of encouraged me, you know, to hear where she had came from and to see her in church, you know, in Christ, living for God, you know. And so um, every time she came, every, every appointment, <laughs> it took me a minute, a couple appointments, and I got, I caught on. I was like, oh. <laughs> My fondest memory of her is when she was younger, she was the baby of the family, of the cousins. She was so short, everyone used to pick on her. And she would always run and go tell her mom on us. She was very energetic. Uh, she wasn't a shy. She wasn't shy at all. She was just um, a little performer. Ah, I think nowadays some preachers need to have some faith because we got a lot of pimping prophets these days. But the scriptures didn't say Jesus said, "Give me a thousand dollars in twenty-one days, you gonna get a miracle." No, 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 no. How about you look at that prophet and say, "No, you get." Give me my healing and trust in 21 days, I'm going to give you your offering. How about that? When I first saw her preach, and as I would watch her preach, I couldn't believe that that was my wife up there because it was like watching the gift that was inside of her unwrap itself right in front of my eyes. So I realized that I'm not lending her to God to be a minister. He's lending her to me to be a wife. And then when we ended up together um, in ministry together, preaching together, boy, that was phenomenal for both of us just to be preaching together on the same program. But then as God blessed us to be consecrated at the same time, that was even a greater blessing because we never knew what God had in store for our relationship. And being women in the ministry and being on the forefront of the ministry and then how God just orchestrated that whole thing and just rearranged it so that we would end up worshiping together and not only worshiping together but being consecrated in ministry being recognized as women in the ministry it was just a blessing you only live once you only live once and God wants you to enjoy each day to the utmost life may bring challenges but there is always an answer she has always been a person of integrity. She's a, she's a woman of character. She really cares about a person's heart. She, I've never known her to, to promote herself, but she really genuinely cares about a person's heart. Welcome to Revealed. Welcome to Revealed. With your host, Erica White. This is Erica White with Revealed, and today I'm live. And so she started telling me about how I can get closer to Christ through the power of the Holy Ghost and explaining to me the steps that I needed to take. And I, from that day forth, you know, I always knew that God was, you know, the person who did it for me, but at the same time, I was thankful that He used Erica. God says, I don't want to just heal you, but I want to touch you. I want to get involved in what's going on in your life. I'm extremely proud of her. Extremely proud. 
she just really has been an encouragement to me and how to be a wife and how to be a mother, a good wife and a good God-fearing mother. And I bless God for her and my life for those reasons. What I see in her future in terms of ministry, I see greatness. And this is something that I really feel in my heart that God has revealed to me some years ago. She, she's been chosen for this hour to spread the message of Christ. Make her whole in the name of Jesus. God, we pray. She's been chosen to spread his message of hope, his message of salvation, his message that he lives. He lives.